This poem is titled To the Politicians Who Keep Voting Against Our Planet. If this earth was your body, would you still tear it apart? If the Amazon was your writing hand, would you cite keyboards and typewriters and take a chainsaw to it with your left? More and more and more. I worked so hard my wrists gave out and a month later I can't tell you what for. I tried speech to text, but the words feel cold, and now I wish for the rainforest back. What if the coral reefs were the soles of your feet? Would you opt out of ground life, choose jetpacks or hoverboards or more and more and more and more? If your throat was a mountain range, would you flinch at your peaks blown off for precious metal mining, try text to speech for your screeching voice? But what about those broken wrists? Would you choose your million dollar wedding ring even as your ears trembled at the echo of the bomb? Pay attention and you'd feel its shrapnel sink into your riverbeds if every river was your two legs. Would you claim your brain could invent artificial water and watch the streams fall prey to poison? And more and more and more it's true that science would let you auction off both kidneys and wait for a pig organ transplant. But don't forget that willow bark taught us the isomer for aspirin and now the woodlands look like a balding scalp. I'll remind you of the mangrove coasts that protected whole cities from furious storms, but the mangroves keep growing into beachfront properties so don't look shocked when you discover Florida drowning and can't remember the formula to cure extinction. Build more, buy more, unmoored. If your prefrontal cortex red, critically endangered, would you realize this lobotomy is going to render you immobile? Would you stop long enough to think, wow, I am just a sum of my parts, each one interwoven and not to be sold. Or maybe you wouldn't. Maybe you'd rather be rich and gray than here to stay. Maybe you've already accepted this as fate. But I'm still trying not to, so I'm begging you, imagine your child's body swollen with tumor cells, their inner elbows stuffed with ivy fluids and eyes zippered shut. If this earth was your dying kid, would you tell them carbon neutral by 2050 and light a cigarette in the hospital room? More and more and more, more, more. Would you say something different if the people were your people? Your people gasping through an oil war beneath a coal mine beside a gas line running through what was once their home? If the people were your people, would you mind that we're breaking down and burning out at 40, at 30, at 25, at 16? Because every time I open the news, I give up. On writing poems. I forget the shape of kindness behind this curtain of frightened because there's no one left to say take care of yourself when there's a caring shortage everywhere else because every day is a choice between our sanity today and our survival tomorrow and for the longest time I didn't understand that they depended on one another but now I see that we are a spider web and if you cut one thread the rest droop into each other as if in grief. So I'm asking you to hold your greed because this world is your body and mine too. And I know neither of us can live without it. So even though you don't believe in my hellbound pronouns or mixed up blood, even though I pretend you're dead inside and would never talk to you in real life, I hope you're sleeping well. I hope you're stretching and breathing and getting good hugs. I don't know if you believe in that stuff, but I'm hoping you take care of yourself enough to one day take care of me back. If we can do that, maybe the mountains can remember the weight of a snow cap and the ocean might relearn a heartbeat. Maybe you start to see yourself in wildflowers and raindrops and doe eyes and realize how could we ever ask for more?